day guys welcome 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 you all to my little kitchen donga yard yeah from you see the layout here who can tell me what go go on yes me give you um five seconds who first can tell me what i go go on yes what me i go cook all right some ton car meal me go deal with in the day yeah as you can see me have my ton car meal me car meal over there so skellion finely chop and onion chop up just also the coconut here me go wash it and cut it up fine and blend it because you know you have to use coconut milk in your ton car meal tablespoon of butter scotch bonnet pepper just a little piece of the green and the yellow don't use the seed you don't want it to hot you just want the flavor you just want it to give the flavor i have less than quarter teaspoon of salt fresh thyme as you can see, the time is fresh. Two small tomato. Dice up. Yes, guys, so this is a good one in an idea. Yes, guys, as you can see, my coconut milk has been boiling. So I'm going to go ahead now and add my tomato. I'm gonna add all my red seasoning. Pepper. Onion and skellion. Pop colorful already. Butter. Tablespoon, one tablespoon of butter. You can go ahead and use oil, vegetable oil if you have oil, if you don't have butter. My time. Less than quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to cover the pot now and let that simmer for about five minutes. Then I'm going to add my cornmeal. Guys, as you can see, I am going to add the cornmeal to my pot but guess what i do guys i use some water to mix out the cornmeal because you can't add it dry into the pot if you do that it's going to lumpy lumpy you're going to have a whole heap of lump so you have to mix it out so i use a spoon and mix it out the next thing you have to do you have to turn on the stove you see the pot boiling you see the pot is boiling you have to turn it down low because if you put the cornmeal in it like that with the pot boiling it also can cause it to lump up lump up so i'm going to go ahead now and add in my cornmeal into my pot looking colorful guys growing up i used to eat a lot of this my mother used to do it but you know back then our parents don't really spice up car meal that that much as how we spice it up now. So me never too like car meal growing up. But as I tell you before in a, a previous video that I did, everybody get big, everybody are adult, them do them thing. Yeah, and everybody do them thing different. 
I don't add a lot of spice and things to this, you know, because I don't want to change the flavor and the authenticness of the cornmeal. So I don't add a lot of things. You can go ahead and add a mixed vegetable if you want. You can put a mixed vegetable in it. You can go ahead and add sweet pepper if you want. Even carrot. But as I say, I don't want to change the authenticness of the caramel the taste and the authenticness of the caramel so i don't add a lot of things in it so each time now you have to make sure you have to turn it turn it all the time you have to come and you know because you don't want it to burn and you don't want it to lump up so you turn down the stove and you add it in yeah man my brother my brothers and i used to eat a lot of this growing up So I'm going to keep the stove on low and let it take its own little time and steam out. But I'm going to have to come every minute to come and check it like every 10 minutes or so to check it. And you have to add water. Add a little water each time. You don't want to put too much water. You don't want a whole heap of water. But as, you, as it go along and start it to cook. You add a little water each time. And you will know when it cooks. Because you see how it looks in the pot there now. When it cooks, you know, it's going to look different. It's going to have a different look. Checking in with my car meal. I see that. I turn the stove down low. Look at that. So it's taking its own time to steam. As you can see, it's not sticking in the pot. And guys, this is refined meal that I am using. Refined car meal. You notice the look? different from when it just going at the pot how it look now so it's taking its time getting there i'm giving it 30 minutes after that i'm going to lock out my stove and dive into some tonka meal guys did you know that tonka meal is barbados national dish yeah man, Barbados national dish. But it's another dish that we Jamaican love out here. Tonka meal. We used to eat this when they're small. Your grandmother used to make this and your mother. Who can comment and tell me who used to eat tonka meal when they're small? I'm going to put it with some doctor fish. It's a nice, nice meal. Depend on what you pair it with. Yeah, man. So this is what we're going to have with our tonka meal. Steamed doctor fish. Look at all these fish, big man. Whoa. Some steamed doctor fish with the tonka meal. In idea, yeah. So let me give you a rundown of the seasoning and thing that i'm going to use on my doctor fish so this is pumpkin as you all know some garlic chop up fine a tablespoon of butter i have one tomato some seasoning fish seasoning that i'm going to use put in the fish belly and where i core the fish I don't put seasoning in my in when I'm steaming my fish guys I don't throw the season in the water or in the pot I put it on the fish that's why I like to core my fish because that's where I put the seasoning in the belly and where I core it I have a little dip ginger beat up over here good old pimento as you can all see thyme fresh thyme 
sweet bell pepper both red and green I have some onion over here and scotch bonnet pepper i am using the seed because i want it to be a little spicy yeah some carrots and some good old okra okra man the man them favorite gentleman let me tell you something i don't need to eat up a whole heap of them stuff here here okra and dr fish yeah so that's a rundown of my seasoning guys so guys i am back to look on my conca meal so i'm gonna take this off now yeah this is finished so i'm gonna steam my fish now so guys i'm about to steam my doctor fish to go with my tonka meal so i put as you can see i put some water i put a little water in the pot i'm gonna put in my pumpkin carrot and okra I'm steaming three nice size doctor fish tomato one tablespoon of butter chopped garlic that's three cloves of chopped garlic, half a onion, and scotch bonnet pepper. I'm putting in the seed in there. I want a little heat. I want it to be spicy. <clears throat> thyme, fresh thyme, sweet bell pepper both red and green so i am going to cook this up a little then i'm going to put in my fish pimento and ginger you know we can't leave out with pimento with ginger so that's a little piece of ginger as you can see i have beat up so i'm gonna cover this now and let it simmer a little then i'm gonna put my fish in i don't want it to cook i don't want it to be fully cooked i just want it to cook a little then i'm gonna put my fish in because you know fish not take long to steam guys so you don't have to put in the fish same time when you put in all these earth seasoning and all of that so i mix up a little fish seasoning and some garlic salt so I'm going to put that on my fish. I'm going to put it in the fish belly and we're a quarry fish. As I tell you guys, I don't put seasoning in my water when I'm steaming fish. Fish already have a flavor in it. You don't need a lot of powder seasoning. All you need is a cool heap of earth seasoning. So this is what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to put my fish in the pot. This is how my gravy look for my fish. A lot of colors, right? Guys, I put some more water in it. I didn't show you when I was adding some water. So I add some water to it. I'm going to add my fish in now. Our doctor fish is finished steam. That's some nice gravy right there. Colorful.
original sugar and water aka lemonade that's what we are having with our tonka meal and steamed doctor fish remember to like share comment subscribe click the notification bell you don't want to miss nothing that is going on in pali little kitchen don't i